sea by the Maltese islands, Malta, Gozo, and between them, Camino. Farmed by the Romans and fortified by the Knights of Malta, now with only three residents, Camino has played an important role in the country's history. Today, it is a popular destination for holidaymakers visiting the Blue Lagoon, and it attracts divers from around the world to its many caves and wrecks which are scattered around the island. Now, let's look a little closer at this three and a half kilometer island and discover what it has to offer both above and below the sea. St. Mary's Tower, the most visible structure on the island, was originally conceived in 1416. It formed part of a chain of towers which surround the islands and greatly improved communication between Malta and Gozo. Filmgoers may well recognize it as one of the locations for the movie The Count of Monte Cristo. A tiny Roman Catholic chapel, dedicated to the Holy Family upon its return from Egypt, sits on a hill just above Santa Maria Bay. There are two rather lovely bays with crystal clear waters and sandy beaches. Santa Maria Bay, which is also the location of the island's only police station, and St. Nicholas Bay, which is equally idyllic and well worth a visit for those willing to explore. seas around the island of Camino are a geologist's paradise. The myriad of islets, rocks, caves, arches and tunnels have been sculpted by the waves and winds on the fragile coralline limestone rock. There is no better example of Camino's beauty than the Blue Lagoon. rocks of all shapes and sizes, gradually sloping down to a delightful sandy beach. It is the gentle, constantly changing currents of the Blue Lagoon which keep its waters refreshed, clear and popular. Only a short swim across the Blue Lagoon lies at Cominotto, less than a quarter of a square kilometre in area, yet with an identically diverse topography. and a shelter for fish fry. The only plants which survive here are those which have succulent, water-storing tissues, such as the golden samphire, or light-colored vegetation which reflects solar radiation, such as the silver ragwort. Plants such as pine spurge have adopted by reducing their leaf size. The warmer temperatures of the approaching summer inject fresh impetus in insects which mesmerize the observer with their myriad forms, from the hard-working ants, soldier bugs, and bees to the flamboyant butterflies. Camino is a reptile country. The most commonly encountered are lizards, which are the most adaptable to the presence of humans and often venture very close to explore scavenging opportunities. Camino.
Casino is much more than just an island. As a marine protected area, it is rich in underwater life. In order to continue our voyage of discovery, we must now leave the surface and enter a liquid world that few have dared to discover. At a depth of 20 meters, the Passavolk is now a haven for an array of marine life. Named after an East German town, it was originally deployed in the 1970s to monitor riverbanks running between East and West Germany. It was scuttled by the Maltese Tourism Authority in 2009, and 10 years on, the wreck is now a prominent diving attraction. Due to the scarcity of suitable prey to catch in our seas, predators have to be constantly on top of their game. This garfish, also known as a needlefish, resembles a miniature barracuda. It is adapted for speed, essential in any chase. And speed is obviously nothing without control, and the garfish can boast some excellent flexibility by virtue of its fins. It skirts the surface of the seas in its relentless search for food, being armed with elongated jaws, hosting rows of sharp teeth. At the end of the summer, the garfish heads out to the open ocean, only to return to the shallows during the springtime to breed. The English common name, fried egg jellyfish, does little justice to the mesmerizing gracefulness of this traveler of the high seas. Although jellyfish are generally a cause for concern to swimmers, this is definitely not the case for the fried egg jellyfish. Its sting is extremely mild and not at all dangerous to humans. It starts reproducing en masse when the water temperature rises above 24 degrees and has a short lifespan of only around six months. Its bright, purple-tipped tentacles host special algae which can turn sunlight into energy. They are essentially solar panels. In return, the algae receives shelter. This captivating wandering colony also becomes home to the fry of a number of fish species who share the journey with them. annual bloom is truly a sight to behold. These schools of saddled sea bream are often found over seagrass and rocky bottoms. They are an important food fish and can always be found in the fish markets.
band-tooth conger, normally found in waters up to 700 meters deep, ventures into our shallows during the summer in order to reproduce. During the day, this nocturnal fish is buried in the sun. At night, it hunts invertebrates and small fish. If it feels threatened, it digs with its tail first into the sand. The moray eel, on the other hand, is a resident of shallow waters, weaving its way within crevices during the day and actively hunting at night. It sports a terrifying arsenal of sharp, dagger-like teeth, hosted on two sets of jaws, which are better left undisturbed. Man has long marveled at the fascinating behavior of the common octopus. It resorts to every trick in the book to either evade predators or to catch its prey. It has an amazing ability to camouflage itself at the blink of an eye, using gazillions of pigment cells. Its conspicuous siphon serves a dual function, breathing, as it channels water to its gills, and locomotion, as it can rapidly squeeze water back out of the siphon as a means of jet propulsion. If its camouflage game has been foiled, the common octopus resorts to hiding in crevices, which poses no challenge to the mollusk, given its lack of a bony skeleton. But desperate times call for desperate measures. The octopus pulls out the ultimate deception card by ejecting a cloud of ink. Contrary to the common octopus, the white-spotted octopus, which sports a more intensive reddish hue, only hunts at night. The species is common throughout the Atlantic, besides the Mediterranean, and in places like the Caribbean. It is known to wrap its tentacles around coral so as to flush out any prey seeking shelter within the coral growth. Octopi may be considered to be compulsive hoarders since they often collect shells, rocks and pieces of glass and in some instances even musket balls. do this in order to protect themselves from predators by arranging defensive walls in front of their den. Their eyes are built exactly like human eyes although their field of vision spans almost 360 degrees. Their suckers are lined with millions of taste cells. They taste everything they touch. And they also have the rare ability to change the texture of their skin, blending in perfectly with their immediate environment. The close relative of the octopus is the cuttlefish. It shares many characteristics with its larger cousin, such as the abilities to deceive through camouflage, evade predators through jet propulsion, or through the expulsion of ink. This ink, sepia, 
has always been popular with artists and writers. Indeed, many of Leonardo da Vinci's drawings, which survive until today, were created with sepia. This fascinating little creature, a member of the mollusk family, and probably an ancestor of the cephalopod, is called a nudibranch. The name refers to its naked gills, which sway around in the currents, their bright hues advertising its unpalatable nature to potential predators. These carnivorous nudibranches actually don't manufacture their own venom, but rather cleverly take it on board when grazing on poisonous sea nettles. This has little or no negative repercussions on them since they have become immune. Close relatives of the nudie branch sharing their ability to steal defenses from their prey are sea slugs, like this tropical species which has only recently arrived in Maltese waters from the Suez Canal. It is therefore considered to be an alien species with as yet unknown consequences for the local ecosystem. Amongst the most challenging of underwater habitats, are sandy seabeds. For many species, there is no shelter from predators for miles. Living here takes some innovation just to survive. Stargazer, a master of disguise, 
is the ultimate ambush predator. It lies patiently in wait for some hapless prey to be taken in by its lure. A strip of skin it flutters in the water from its lower jaw. It has also evolved electric organs capable of producing a mild electric discharge as an effective defense mechanism. Its first and most effective defense, however, is to bury itself completely in the sand. The striped prawn, a victim of its own culinary popularity, has distinctive orange stripes over its translucent body. Its tail is tinted a bright blue color, similar to those on the wings of the flying gurnard. Its only defense from predators is its ability to bury itself completely in the sand. eyes look very similar to those of land insects and in fact function in much the same way. They provide nearly 360 degrees of vision and allow the shrimp to react almost instantly to threats. Rough ray is yet another species which is commonly found on the sandy seabeds around Camino. Holds an additional trump card up its sleeve. Look carefully, and you will see what look like two large eyes painted on its back. These eyes are a perfect example of auto-mimicry, where one body part of an animal resembles another animal altogether, giving the impression that the ray is a much larger beast when viewed from above thus safeguarding from attack by potential predators. Any discussion about sandy seabeds would not be complete without mentioning the wide-eyed flounder. Like any normal fish, these fish are born with one eye on either side of their heads. However, during the course of early development, one eye migrates over the top of the head to the other side, twisting the skull in the process. It also has the rare ability to camouflage itself by changing the markings on its skin, making it a stealthy hunter. This sea an enemy, whose scientific name Mirabilis means marvelous, is indeed a sight to behold at night. Its body and tentacles extend up to a meter and sway in the currents, filtering the water for food. Yet another strategy actively pursued on sand is that of possessing a venomous arsenal. This buried sea anemone can deliver quite a punch. resemble berries on its body are covered with stinging cells, which make for an extremely painful encounter. Their main purpose, however, is to catch prey. The venom contained within these cells immobilizes on contact. They should definitely not be touched. During the day, when all the tentacles have been retracted, the species just resembles a pile of berries plastered to the seabed. Quite an efficient disguise to keep the carnivores away. The island of Camino is not a solid rock. There are literally dozens of caves to explore.
At the mouths of caves, divers are often greeted by shoals of sparkling red Mediterranean cardinal fish. Generally keeping a low profile during the day, they are nocturnal and hunt for small fish at night. Lumbering along with his heavy armor, this Mediterranean slipper lobster is vulnerable to a number of predators. Since it has neither claws nor spines to defend itself, it chooses a nocturnal lifestyle and hides in crevices during the day. Red, in all its shades, seems to predominate within dark environments. A splendid example is this rare serpentine armed starfish. It is a protected species, occasionally seen violet in color, but mostly found in vivid rich red, as we see it here. A close relative of the starfish is this sea cucumber. Although it may look unremarkable, it has attracted the attention of scientists for its potential to provide a treatment for cancer. The sea cucumber is safe in the waters around Camino, unlike its cousins in Asian waters, which are considered a delicacy and very much sought after. Believe it or not, this is actually a worm, even though it has a much more graceful countenance than its normal drab relatives. This fan worm has two rows of orange banded tentacles which collect wandering plankton. This worm tailor makes its tube shaped residence from hardened mucus. At the slightest hint of danger, it retracts quickly into its tube. The most extravagant makeup artist is the European squid. It can live at depths of up to several hundred meters. The squid uses its fluorescent display to communicate with other members of its group and it uses its big eyes to see in the dark. It has 10 tentacles surrounding its mouth and beak. The two long ones are used to catch its prey. Although the squid feeds mainly on fish and crustaceans, cannibalism can also occur. Squid actually travel extensively every night, from their daytime depths to the surface where they feed and reproduce. After the long, dry summer, the first rains are welcomed by an awakening of the mostly dormant plant life. The constancy of the seasons drive the fortunes of many of the species which call Camino their home. The story of Camino doesn't end here. A lot has happened.
happened. And a lot is yet to come. The next part of our story has yet to be witnessed. <laughs>